What's going on everyone and welcome to the channel. My name's Jack, I'm a chef by trade and my whole purpose for this channel was to give you 100% confidence in the kitchen as well as teach you absolutely everything I know. In this one, we're going to be making a granola that's high in fiber, high in protein, tastes absolutely amazing and will give you the perfect kickstart to your day. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. All right guys, let's start this off by adding four cups or 375 grams of rolled oats to a large mixing bowl, which is going to be the base to our granola. To this, add in one cup or 135 grams of almonds that have been roughly chopped, and these are going to give us a good source of fiber as well as an amazing texture. Half a cup or 65 grams of pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds that contain protein, iron, zinc, and magnesium. One and a half teaspoons or three grams of ground cinnamon for a slightly sweet, woody flavor and aroma. And last but not least, one teaspoon or five grams of sea salt flakes that would literally make you salivate with every bite you have of this. Give all of the ingredients a good mix using clean hands or a spoon, making sure that everything is evenly distributed, and once that's done, just pop it aside. Now in a separate bowl, we're going to add in the wet ingredients, which consists of half a cup or 115 grams of melted coconut oil, which helps raise good cholesterol in your blood and helps reduce heart disease. One third of a cup or 80 milliliters of maple syrup, which contains numerous antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, but should still be eaten in moderation. And finally, one and a half teaspoons or seven grams of pure vanilla extract, which is rich in antioxidants and helps reduce the effects of aging and promotes more vibrant skin. We're then just going to give the mixture a quick mix using either a whisk or a fork to combine those flavors and add the wet mixture into the dry mixture, making sure that you scrape it all in there as we don't want to miss out on any of that amazing flavor. We're then going to give this a really good mix for those flavors to become friends. And what the wet mixture is going to do is it's going to create a coating around all of those ingredients, which will then help achieve an amazing texture or crunch and obviously a fantastic flavor. We can then pour the granola mix into a large baking dish lined with parchment paper, again making sure to scrape it all out of the bowl to avoid any wastage. Spread it out evenly using a spatula or a spoon to achieve even and consistent cooking. Then make your way over to the oven that's been preheated to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake this for 10 minutes on the middle shelf. 10 minutes later we can then carefully remove the granola from the oven. Place it onto your stovetop or heat resistant surface and give it a good mix around with a spoon, bringing up the granola from the bottom which will allow this to cook evenly. We can then make our way back to the oven and place this on the middle shelf again and bake for another 10 minutes to allow the granola to continue browning. So then another 10 minutes later we can then carefully remove the granola and again place it onto a heat resistant surface but this time we're going to add in half a cup or 45 grams of shredded coconut and mix this through with a spoon. That added coconut is going to add a very slight sweetness and the most amazing nutty flavor once it's been toasted. Also, the reason that we add this now and not at the start is because the coconut can burn very easily and will create a bitterness that will ruin our granola. Anyway, once that's done, we're going to place this back into the oven one last time on the middle shelf again, and this time we're only going to bake this for seven minutes or until the top of the granola and the coconut are very lightly golden brown. So this has now been seven minutes with a total cooking time of 27 minutes. We can remove this from the oven, turn the oven off, place the granola onto a heat resistant surface, allowing it to cool down for 30 minutes. Once the granola is cooled down, we can place it into a large mixing bowl or leave it in the baking dish to save dishes, it's up to you. Add in half a cup or 70 grams of dry cranberries, which will add a nice soft texture and sweetness. Give this one last mix, ensuring everything is well distributed before we can then go ahead and add this to a clean jar, which is not only good for storage, but it also looks awesome on your kitchen countertop. And also make sure to secure the lid on the jar to prevent the granola from spoiling. This then leads to the part that makes this all worthwhile, which is that we can then serve this up, add a splash of milk, yogurt, or some fresh fruit, and we can then dig in. So just like that, we've created a granola that's high in fiber, high in protein, tastes absolutely incredible, and has the most amazing texture. To store this, we can place this in a glass jar or airtight container and store this in a cool dark space, like a cupboard or a drawer. And this will last up to two weeks, but I can guarantee that you'll eat it before then. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I was able to teach you something. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and consider subscribing to see hundreds of more fantastic recipes. Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe and enjoy.